Hey YouTube, Ryan here with Cycle QMX. We're going to talk about some of our uh, bat rims and our amp flow motors today. If you have any questions, you can always leave us comments below or drop us a line at cycleqmx.com. Hope you enjoy. What we normally run is a uh, amp flow. It's an amp flow. E30 400 motor. This comes stock on all of our bikes. Unless you uh, get the uh, Sport or Econo model, uh, then you'll get the upgraded motor. But let's go ahead and uh, take this out of the box for you so you can check it out. All right, there you go. There's the beauty. Amp flow. E3400. It's a three inch diameter high output variable speed motor. Now we normally run a thousand watt uh, speed controller on these and uh, you get the maximum amount of output. Now if you were to upgrade to our um, F series or A series motors they're gonna be exactly the same size three inch diameter they're just going to have different magnets on the inside and a little bit tighter uh, winding on the spool to give us a little more horsepower. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been uh, commenting and leaving messages about uh, hub motors or brushless motors. Uh, this is a brushed uh, motor and you will eventually have to replace the brushes on them. Um, I've been running a motor for about six years and still haven't replaced the brushes yet and it seems to be working fine. Now, we can go with hub motors and if that's something you're interested in, you know, let us know. Uh, we can put a hub motor in our bikes. So basically what that means is that we would take our existing hub out and replace that with a, a motorized hub motor. And basically you would have a motor on either side of your bike. Um, if you're going with something like that, two rear hub motors at 300 watts would probably be more than sufficient to run the bike. Uh, it depends on what type of terrain you're running in. Now, all of our rims are um, set up for fat tires. So you're going to run a big fat tire on here. We also have a, a rim strip that goes inside, covers up all these uh, lightning holes to save weight. But to put the weight of a motor, inside the hub that puts a lot of weight out on the edge and when you start moving and jumping and stuff like that that's a lot of weight out there and puts a lot of extra stress on your spokes and puts a lot of extra stress on your axle by running these central motors down in the bottom of the bike we're able to keep the center of gravity down low and we're also able to run a transmission so you can get a three speed or eight speed or single speed transmission which I'll talk to you about later on in the show. Well, YouTube, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you have any questions or comments or anything we talked about on the show today, you know, feel free to drop us a line. You know, you can always leave comments below or you can hit us up on cycleqmx.com. Have a great day. Peace.